Trump to hold rally in Butler, Pennsylvania, where he survived assassination attempts. Part of me is like, please don't do that. But I also think he'll be safe. I think it sends a strong message. And they say that Trump said the forthcoming rally in Butler will honor Corey Comprator. The firefighter was killed in the July 13th attack, as well as the others who were injured. And uh, a couple guys seriously injured. So he's going to have this uh, rally. Uh, do they say uh, when? He on Friday vowed to hold another rally in the same area in Pen Pennsylvania where he survived. That is going to be the biggest rally he's ever done. And his Secret Service just said he's not doing any more outdoor rallies. So but this would have to be outdoor. I, I assume. I mean, he's going to. He, what is he going to have a million people show up? Do you think? Million? And you could be sure there'll be a thousand snipers on every rooftop from Pennsylvania. Yep. Well, one to would I really Virginia. hope that we could assume yeah, that, yeah, but I no, don't know. I, I'm saying I would imagine there'll be a great show of, you know, theatrics on this one where there'll be snipers and helicopters and drones. And all. It's, it's only a couple hours drive from several different major metropolitan areas. So I'm not, not literally a million, but I'm saying this is going to be a massive rally in maybe... Uh, I mean, Trump's, Trump's had 200K. What was it, in D.C. on January 6th? I think he had like, two, what did they say, 250K total? Mm -hmm. Well, in Wildwood, New Jersey, he had 200 right. and 200. Was, was it 200? Yeah, I think it was. Well, was During that, the trial? Was that one, had, one, there were a lot one, of people. 150, yeah. 150 100 maybe yeah, in uh, Wildwood. Like, he's going to have a lot of people show up. Yeah. Every single journalist from every single news organization is going to be begging their bosses to let them go cover this rally. <laughs> They're going to be like, this is huge. It's returned to the side of the assassination. Oh, we're already time. talking about it. Are you guys going to do something? Are you going to go? Well, Elad this cool guy named sure. Elad. Yeah. Yeah. Elad was there. And then right left. like an hour right. before he was like, I'm going to go check out the Jill Biden rally in Pittsburgh and then left. Yeah. yeah. Ouch. Yeah. Well, he said, you know, I've been to so many and, you know, it felt like kind of a standard rally. And so yep. he thought he'd go check out this other event. It's like Jill doesn't do these that often. It's this weird thing because like I work with Elad when, when we found out what happened, there's a moment where you're like, was he still there? Is he okay? And then because I was on Twitter, I saw that he had posted something from the Joe Biden event. I was like, oh, I guess he's okay. Thanks That's to a Joe real Biden. Sound, huh? I think, uh, I think <laughs> this time they're going to secure the rooftop. You what? This time they're going to secure the rooftop. Yeah, I would Only imagine. they're not sl uh, sloped, right? That's their biggest fear. No, I think this time they're going to have a guy in the water tower too. Uh, that's something else I heard that Secret Service would have somebody on the water tower. Of course. Yeah. A counter sniper. Of course. My, I have a friend who's in the Marine Reserves right now, military guy, and he told me that it, it, he's a sniper, or, you know, a marksman. He's not a sniper, but marksman. He told me that anybody he knows that shoots looked at that landscape and says, okay, first place I want to be is on that water tower. That, that was number one. But then he also said this. He said, when we go train, the suckiest guys hit from 200 yards. Yep. He said, then, you know, when you go to 300, 400, 500, guys start to filter out. But, the, you know, the best in the business are over five, seven hundred thousand yards. But he said, the worst guys in our unit hit every time from I, 200. I heard they were saying that the uh, from that rooftop he was on to where Trump was, the difficulty on a scale of one to 10 was a one. That it was 130 yards is uh, any moron makes their target. Yeah, I, I said and, uh, I said on Newsmax last week that if you want to, you know, going back to what we were saying before, if you want to entertain the thought that it was like kind of some kind of inside job, okay, it's whoever went, you know, the Trump campaign, the Secret Service lady said the other day, the Trump campaign has to give them five to seven days notice before they announce a date for them to do the early logistics on it, right? So whoever went out there for the Secret Service stood in the middle of that field and said, okay, here's where the stage is going to be. I'm going to put this water tower behind us. I'm going to leave this building on the side here, un, un, unsnipered, and we're going to put the stage right here. To me, that's the person that was in on it who set the logistics. Yep. Here's the stage. We're going to make it a 125 perimeter when the building's 140. It's it just... Is that what they said, 125? Something, you know, that was the intermediate perimeter. Right. The building was outside of it. So, you know, if they the... They call it the, uh, the, the Pac-Man of security instead mm -hmm. of the sphere right. perimeter. Yeah. It cut out just where the building was. Just no, doesn't, doesn't yeah. defies logic. 